Hello everyone, we will continue the topic validations and substitutions and in the previous videos we understood how this function module is calling our validation whenever we are changing the validation SAP is generating a corresponding logic and we will be able to check that particular logic. Now, what I will do, so far, we simply, simply check for the wrong case. If I am giving a other document type for company code, I got the error. Now, we will go for cross-check also. If I am giving a right document type, then it should not be the case that I am getting the error. Suppose, I will put some document date. Now I will go for document type WE because we put a validation that for this company code that document type WE is allowed. Yes, then I should not get a error. Check should be true. In the previous case, I put the document type WA and the document type is not equal to WE. So I got a false result. Check is false and we got the message. Now I am going for WE only. I will go for enter. Now firstly system will check is our validation is active or not. Now if you see, yes, firstly we have the validation. Yes, this is our validation and it is active. I will do F6. Now I am on to this function module. I will go inside the function module using F5. Yes. Now you all know, yes, this is the subroutine in which we will be able to find the logic for our validation. I will simply do F8 so that control will come on to this subroutine. Now, if I want to go inside this subroutine, I will simply do F5. Now, inside this subroutine, we have again this particular subroutine. I will simply, simply do F8 and reach up to this subroutine. Now, I will do F5 so that I can go inside this subroutine. Now, now we will see here. We have three things. First one is your prerequisite. Next is check. And next is the message. So I will firstly go for your prerequisite check. I will do F8 so that control will stop here. Now I will go inside this subroutine. Is our company code DE11? Yes, we gave the company code DE11. So prerequisite is true. Now, whenever prerequisite is true, it will go for check. Now, yes, prerequisite. Yes, it gave the true result. It gave true. If prerequisite is true, we will go for check. Now, I will go inside the subroutine using F5. Now you can see, we gave the document type WE. Yes, and in the validation check also, we gave WE. It means this if condition is true. Whenever this if condition is true, it means we are setting it to true, true. So we got that true. So our check is true. If our check is true, why, why we should raise an error message? So this error message is anyways for the false. It is not for the true. We got the true result. And if I will do F8, have you seen? We have not got the error message. This is for passing the data. Anyways, I, if I want to post a document, I need to put postal key. I need to put postal key and account number. But we have not got the error. So now we did both the things. We check for the wrong case also, for false result also. We check for true result also. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply now deactivate the validation. 
Now, suppose if customer is saying this validation is not required. So never, never go to this particular transaction code and delete the validation. Because if after some days or after few days, if customer is saying, I again require this validation, then again, we need to do the rework. So never, never delete the validation. If customer is saying this validation is not required at this point of time, just deactivate the validation. Suppose if I will simply go to OB28 transaction code. Now your activation is one. Suppose I will simply, simply choose the value now zero. Zero means inactive. I will go for save. And one pop-up will come for customizing request. You can see a system is saving this into T001D table. That is the most important table because of this only our logic is executing based upon active or inactive. Now, whenever I'm deactivating, it means the entry will update into this particular table. I will go for OK. Now I will show you that table. T001D table. I will go to the contents. What is the company code? DE11. Now you can see it is inactive. Inactive means zero. Now we will check. This is our FB01 transaction code. Now I will go for posting date. I will go for document type. Suppose I am going for wrong document type. I will put end. System entered into debugging mode, but our function module will not trigger. If our function module will not trigger, validation will not trigger. Now you can see it will system is it will, it will check. What is validation name? T type. But it is and and means both conditions should be true. Is your active flag is one or two? No, it is zero. It means this if condition is completely failed. If this if condition failed, this function module did not trigger. If this function module did not trigger, it means our validation logic will also not trigger. Logic is there, but this function module is not triggering. So logic is itself not triggering. So it is always, always recommended. Never, never delete the validations. You can simply, simply make it inactive. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I put the right value first and we saw that yes, we are not getting the error message because our check is returning the true value and message is based upon the false result. After that, we took the second thing. Whenever the customer is saying this particular validation is not required, never delete the validation. You can simply, simply make it inactive. The corresponding entry will be updated into T001D table. And whenever the function module is calling, it is based, it is calling based upon one or two only. One or two both are for active. So it will not trigger at all. Logic is there, but anyways, it is not triggering. And it's a humble request to everyone. Those who are practicing into the system, it's a request. After practice, please, please make it inactive because you should not hamper the other people well because others are also using the system. So it's a humble request to everyone. Once you learn the topic, make it inactive. I'm not saying delete, okay? Just make it inactive so that it will not hamper the work of other people. So that's it in this video. Thank you.